Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler, thanks for stopping by. It's your boy is gonna do another review, review tonight, and uh, this is gonna come in the form of Pipeworks. This is gonna be Mini Hats. This is gonna be a hazy double IPA uh, with a Zaka Idaho 7 and Cryo Simcoe. So, pretty nice stuff there. This one was canned on March 25th, so just over a month old. Um, yeah, cool can uh, label here. It's just got a bunch of different cool, sweet hats. There's like a pimp hat on there. It's like one of those little um, hats with the helicopter, like a captain's hat, a cowboy hat, the old trusty beer helmet. The Viking helmet, cat in the hat type thing. Yeah, cool stuff. Uh, Pipeworks, though. Uh, yeah, I think they're out of somewhere in, is it Chicago? Yeah, brewed and can in Chicago. So, yeah, Pipeworks does some pretty nice stuff. Um, I've enjoyed most of the beers that I've had from them, I believe. So I'm kind of expecting the same out of this one. Uh, just picked this up. Just a couple days ago. So let's go ahead and get it in our glass here. We're gonna leave some room there. So, um, yeah, beer comes in just like a uh, pretty opaque color there. Uh, I guess it's leaning in that gold category. It's very light though. Fluffy white head with tight bubbles on the sides, a little bit rocky soap sudsy up top. Nice looking beer though, for sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and show our nose in this thing. Yeah, it's a little muted, but it does smell quite quite nice though. Definitely get some stone fruit. Uh, from that Simcoe, it's putting off a nice dose of, of, of stone for, for sure. It's got a little bit of that dank quality that Mosaic's kind of known for. It's got some grapefruit going on as well. Grapefruit. Kind of a generic... Um, <clears throat> like orange thing. Maybe even like a little bit of like a lemon <clears throat> or pineapple or uh, yeah, lemon, pineapple type thing. Not that they're the same, but like a, a combo or, or just, you know, kind of getting those two, two different fruits. It does have this little bit of an herbal thing going on like that green, like chivey thing. Yeah, it's dank, uh, citrusy, uh, stone fruity. So, smells nice though. It's just kind of muted, um, which, whatever. Let's go ahead and try it, cheers. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, the taste is not muted. Um, Kind of surprised that the nose um, was as minimal as it was because that's packed full of flavor. Mm. Dude, that's good stuff. That is good stuff, man. That stone fruit comes across in a very expressive way, very like juicy. Um, I feel like it's almost leaning towards like the canned, like dull peaches. That pineapple's coming across too, almost in that same form. Like the dull brand, like the little pineapple tidbits. Like think of the juice that those are in. Nice little dose of bitterness in there too. Not overly done, but just a, a kind of enough to let you know it's there. Nice medium, medium plus mouthfeel. A little chewy. A 
got a pretty decent dose of like a um, residual sweetness in there. I don't know what the ABV was on this. I don't know if I even said, or if it even said, yeah, here it is, 8%. So it doesn't drink like a little beer. Um, you know, it's a, I don't wanna say less drinkable, it's delicious. It's just not drinking like something that you would expect. Like, you know, sometimes we say a beer is super drinkable, like it's really dry and just like super easy to drink. This has some sweetness that hangs out and you can tell this is a little bit bigger of a beer. But a great combo. That hot combo is quite nice. It lends like a stone fruity, citrusy, even like tropical leaning type thing. So, I mean, Azaka, Idaho 7, Simcoe. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, pretty much how, how those hops, um, you know, how they work. Those do cut quite well together. I don't know if I've seen that combo uh, before. Um, so, yeah, nice taste of beer. I'm, I'm enjoying this one. I am getting this, like, pretty big dose of, like, an herbal character. Like this green herbal type thing. I think it's kind of playing with the bitterness a little bit. But anyway, very juicy hop flavor. I uh, got some nice dank qualities in there. That Simcoe like dank thing comes across as well. Almost that like caddy type thing. That's good stuff, man. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, that's good stuff. Seems as though Pipeworks knows what they're doing. So, uh, as far as a rating from me, I think this is going to get like a solid 4-2. Uh, I think it's definitely well above average. It's very tasty. Um, I, I have no complaints about it. Uh, it's got a really nice mouthfeel, really great hop flavor, great aroma, just a little muted. Um, like I said, it's got a little bit of bitterness to let you know kind of it's there. I don't know. It checks all the boxes for me. Um, so yeah, 4.2 for me, I think is what I said. Did I say that? 4.2. It's going 4.2, whatever. Pipeworks, mini hats, uh, double IPA, awesome stuff. Uh, if you've had this beer, uh, let me know. I would love to hear from you. It seems like there's a lot of people out there who uh, really enjoy Pipeworks. So, uh, if you're one of them, let me know if you've had this one. I would love to hear from you. Um, leave a like and a comment and, uh, don't forget to let me know what you're drinking on. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what I'm doing. I uh, would definitely appreciate it. We've got a nice little community forming around here. So um, looking forward to the next beer review. And we'll see you guys in the next day or so. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Cheers.